Mastering the fade with Ron Cuts using the reverse fade technique. Fading made simple. The first step in mastering your fade is to visualize the hairstyle you're trying to achieve, along with a detailed plan to achieve it. Today's style cut is referred to as the ball fade. For this particular style, we'll be using the reverse fade technique. The tools of use are the Anders T Edger, the Wall Designer, and the Oyster Fast Feeders. Always begin your service by thoroughly combing through the hair to inspect for bumps, scalp abrasions, and skin disorders. After the comb through, your first step will be to cut the top of the hair to the desired length of the style. In this case, we'll be using the number one guard with lever completely pushed up and teeth closed. Pressing down firmly, begin to cut in the direction of the hair's growth pattern. After cutting the hair to its desired length, it's now time to work on the style of the cut, the fade. We will be focusing our fade in the area known as the crown. The crown begins at the point where the top of the head begins to curve downward to the back of the head and ends at the point just above the OB bone. Your first cut begins with your line of demarcation. Demarcation is the action of fixing lines or setting boundaries. Using your wall clipper, you will start your line with the adjustable level pushed completely up and teeth closed, cutting from temple to temple, keeping your line just beneath the OB bone. This is where your fade will end. Attach the number one guard on your wall detailer with lever down and teeth open. Start your cut at the line of demarcation. A good tip to remember when using the reverse fade technique is whatever guard used to trim down the hair will be the guard you begin your fade with. With an upward stroke, as if you were forming the letter C, feather off your stroke at the crown of the head. You would do this until you reach the opposite side of the head. With lever placed so that it's in the middle position, exposing half of the clipper blade, repeat the same steps starting from your line of demarcation. With guard still attached, use the same upward stroke, feathering out your stroke slightly beneath the crown. Repeat the same steps with guard still attached, but clipper lever placed completely up, so that your top and bottom blades are flush together. Your focal point is the area just above the temple and just beneath the crown. Now repeat the same steps with guard detached, exposing nothing but the clipper blade. With lever pushed completely down and teeth open, focus on working out the demarcation line. Still focusing on fading out the line of demarcation, drop your clipper lever in the middle and continue to work out your line. Repeat the same steps gradually lowering your clipper to taper out your line. Remember that your range of motion is mimicking the letter C. Feathering out your taper will keep you from creating another line. Now that you have worked out your line, you can use your Anders T edger to remove the bulk hair beneath the tapered outline. Your next step will be to edge the front and side hairline. Your focus area should be from brow to brow. 
using the end of your brow as your perimeter. Start your edge from the center of the nose back to the edge of the brow and repeat that step on the opposite side. The edge up now gives your fade a complete, well-distinguished, sharp look.